Good morning. It's your Pratt Pack getting ready for an epic day. We're back on the radio tonight. I'll tell you more about that in a moment after local news at 6. But because I have a little extra time and I want to take care of the crew who does such a great job throughout the year, the Coons Market Black and Gold Sunday Show, I hold in my hand the earliest line for Week 17 in the National Football League. We always go betrivers.net. And it's always a sure bet for fun when you go to Rivers Casino. You know, for years in the casino industry, being a television host with my friend Ted Arnault at Mountaineer, one thing I know, this is the best week at the casino industry in this region between that holiday and the new year, right? And we did a lot of incredible and fun things, and especially when it came to the television side, and everybody was there just enjoying themselves. And now with the advent of being able to make a legal sports book bet, just a few shekels to keep you on the edge of your seat. And with Thursday night football and everything that lies ahead, college football playoffs, the NBA, the National Hockey League, it's a great time to be had by one and all. And we always go betrivers.net. But you can go to the incredible Rivers Casino in the North Shore. Of course, Prescott up in that beautiful place that is in Erie, Pennsylvania, and Mountaineer in beautiful West Virginia, one of my favorite places in the world. Lots of good memories there. And of course, another place that I have fond memories of, the Meadows in Washington County. So let's roll through these games. So Thursday night, you've got Cleveland favored by seven against the Jets. Don't look now. But the Browns are headed towards the postseason. Great story there with Joe Flacco. Detroit getting six against Dallas, who lost to Miami by a deuce, 22-20. All depends on which Dallas team shows up. Uh, New England getting 12 against Buffalo. Speaking of depending on what team that shows up, Buffalo very hot and cold this year. Carolina coming off of a loss, but a nice performance by their rookie quarterback, Bryce Young, getting seven against Jacksonville. I'm just saying, Jacksonville dealt with health issues with their quarterback, Trevor Lawrence. They too hot and cold. You may want to look at that as possibly your upset special. Um, what else? We have Miami getting three against Baltimore, coming off that spectacular victory last night, and Lamar Jackson looking like a Hall of Famer, right? And also a definite candidate to be MVP this year. Uh, this one is a pick em. no line yet. Uh, we'll keep abreast of that and talk about it more throughout the week, but the Giants and uh, Rams have to square off. Matthew Stafford is throwing the football incredibly well, and they are still in the playoff hunt. Tennessee getting three and a half against Houston. Washington getting 13 and a half against Frisco. Last night, Brock Purdy throws four interceptions in that loss on Monday night to Baltimore. Vegas in the playoff hunt, getting three against Indianapolis, and Coach Pierce looking as though he wants to hang on to that job. They just need to find a quarterback for the future. Uh, Chicago, Atlanta, no line yet. Pick them right now. Uh, we'll keep abreast of that one. But I got to tell you, Justin Fields seems as though he wants to let everybody in that place that is the Windy City know he'd like to stay a member of the Chicago Bears. Arizona getting 10.5 against Philly. If you're the Eagles, you can't let your foot off the pedal. Arizona at times. And I mean, at times can look pretty good, and I'm sure they would love nothing more than to get a win over Philadelphia and to upset that already confusing and always hard to keep up with NFC East. New Orleans getting three against Tampa Bay. Uh, Baker Mayfield's the future, but is Derek Carr the future in New Orleans? Chargers getting five and a half against Denver. Word today, I was reading that Jim Harbaugh, the coach of Michigan, now 60, this may be his last chance at success in the National Football League. And Justin Herbert is a franchise quarterback who's in the infancy of his career. And the former quarterback, meaning Jim Harbaugh, has a way of making things happen with quarterbacks. All right, uh, what else? Cincinnati, seven and a half against Kansas City. Kansas City is in complete disarray right now. Um, and the Green Bay Packers, wondering if Jordan Love is the future, getting two against Minnesota, who desperately needs Kirk Cousins to come back next year. But what will the price tag be? And our Pittsburgh Steelers are getting three and a half against Seattle. A lot of people in the media, 93.7 The Fan and everywhere else, and we'll be talking about it on the Coons Market Black and Gold Sunday show, although by then it'll be a foregone conclusion. But it looks like Kenny Pickett is going to go again. But a lot of people in the Pittsburgh media, uh, even in the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette and other great resources, are saying they should go with Mason Rudolph. But one thing's for sure, you need to re-sign Mason Rudolph. He's got to be the 
backup next year for Pickett, if not eventually the starter. You got to give him one more chance to see if he can carry on and carry over what he did uh, in this game against Cincinnati, which was the guy that we were all hoping for. He's 28 years of age when he came from Oklahoma State, got a big arm, good pocket presence, and now he has the ability to air it out downfield because of George Pickens. And if they start double teaming Pickens, Deontay Johnson's going to have the landing strip. So I think you got to at least, if not start him, give Pickett a quarter or a half. And if he doesn't do much, put Rudolph in there and see if he can continue it. So there you have it. That's the latest week 17. Remember, just a few shekels to keep you on the edge of your seat. It's your Pratt Pack. Cheers.